What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week I'm really excited to talk about the extension we're going to cover. It's a new extension from TomTom Tom that allows you to bend objects while maintaining proportions and lengths. And before I get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Jeremy, Tahu Hunter, Arnold Roundtree, Frank Hoogveld, and Sharon Theanne Yiru. So this week, my patrons voted and they selected True Bend as the extension that we're going to cover. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, True Bend. Plugin developer, TomTom. Tom. Plugin cost, it's free. I'm, I'm making a special request on this one. I've linked to Tom Tom's donation page. He's given us a lot of great extensions like Solid it's Inspector, Selection Toys, um, a whole bunch of other extensions. So if you can, go over to his page and donate a dollar or two just as a thank you for all the great extensions that he's put out. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This tool is designed to help you bend objects within SketchUp to a given degree or radius, allowing you to bend an object while maintaining the length of the object. For example, if I bend a shape that's 12 feet long along a 180 degree bend, you can see how the line segment maintains the 12 foot length even though it's bent. I will note that for whatever reason, mine seems to be off by about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm not 100% sure if this is um, something having to do with uh, mine being in inches instead of in millimeters or what the deal is, but I will note this is just slightly off when I try to bend these and I measure the length. You can click and drag the red bar to bend the object. Or, once you've clicked and dragged, you can also enter a value in the VCB to manually set the number of degrees in your bend. Note that one of the cool things about this particular extension is that it allows you to bend objects up to, a, up to 360 degrees, where other extensions like Radial Bend and Fredo Scale have only been able to get them to go up to about 180 degrees. So you don't have to go back and copy your object and flip it in order to get a 360 degree rotation or bend with this extension. So in addition, you can also adjust the bend by typing in a distance rather than a set of degrees if you'd rather set how far out of a plane something bends based on length. You can also adjust the number of segments created by typing an S behind any value you enter. Um, this adjusts the number of segments that your object is cut up into when this starts bending them. This can be useful for things like spiral staircases or other things where you need to bend based on a set number of segments. You can also adjust if your created segments are softened or smooth. One thing Box noted on his Facebook page, and I've linked to the post down below, is that as a default, you can only bend an object along one axis. Because this extension stores some of that information about your previous bends, however, if you explode an object and regroup it, you can bend an object multiple times along multiple axes. Overall, this is one of the best extensions I've seen for bending objects within SketchUp, and it's free. So go check it out, go download it today, and if you can, make sure to visit TomTom's donation page and throw a couple bucks his way as a thank you. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this extension. I'd love to hear from you uh, what your thoughts are. Um, as always, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel and you want to vote on the extension that I cover every week, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.